Now, some very dire and staggering images really coming to us here in the AccuWeather Hurricane Center this hour, thanks to Tropical Storm Ernesto. And I'm Katie Fellinger here to bring you the latest on what's already happened and what we think is to come with Ernesto. Specifically, though, for Hispaniola this hour, look how high this water has already come. This has mostly at this point been a rainmaker for the island of Hispaniola, and specifically in Haiti. This is a residential community that is just being pretty much overrun with water, as well as obviously the rivers rising way over their banks, animals and sadly even children getting swept up by these waves. But what's to come with Ernesto? Well, just sent our latest aircraft into the storm to tell us exactly what's happening with the winds. The yellow barbs are telling us that there are lighter wind speeds certainly outside of the system. But once that plane interacts with the storm, see that color change that tells us that we do have tropical storm force winds currently with Ernesto. Again, what's to come from this storm? Well, the models have a lot of variation in what they think is really going to happen here. And you see all of these different paths. Now, we think that your best shot at this point is going to be in this northeasterly track here. So either the darker or the lighter green shaded area is where we think Ernesto is actually going to go. And Actually, that's pretty much the worst case scenario when it comes to the northeastern United States because your forecast iPath then from AccuWeather is going to take this storm right up the east coast as a category one hurricane. So it's going to strengthen as well and it's taking its time, which means it'll have plenty of time to dump upwards of close to a foot worth of rain specifically around the